Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you X-Plane 12 running at maximum settings with the use of lossless scaling. I am very glad that I heeded the advice from one of the followers of the channel because X-Plane really looks absolutely stunning at maximum settings, even with default scenery at the most involved locations in very high fidelity aircraft. I'm still able to pull 70 FPS at London Heathrow with maximum settings in the Tolis and the Zebo aircraft, something that I was not able to do without lossless scaling. So let me release the parking brake and let's take this King Air for a short flight here around the Los Angeles area and take a look at the results. I am currently getting 68 FPS at maximum settings. Let me show you the settings here real quick. We're going to go to the graphics. And as you can see, everything here is set at the very maximum. All right, let's go ahead and take off. We're going to set the torque at about 95% or so. Airspeed alive. As you can see here, a very smooth experience. There are no stuttering whatsoever. And we are now in the 70s range in terms of FPS. Rotate. Let's go ahead and rotate. V2. Positive and rate. positive rate. Gears going up. Attitudes check. Notice the buildings and the street lights at maximum settings. As you can see here, X-Plane is looking absolutely gorgeous with maximum settings and without really suffering any performance hit with lossless scaling. Here is another look during uh, daytime. Again, you can appreciate the fidelity of the sim at maximum settings. If I bring the X-Plane FPS counter, you'll see that we're clocking about somewhere around 40 FPS, between 38 and 40 FPS. And with the lossless scaling, we're getting double that. And so it really is a wonderful solution for frame generation in um, X-Plane 12. In order to use lossless scaling, the only thing you need to do is purchase this program, which is quite cheap. I will provide the link to it in the description section. Once you have it running, all you need to do is change the frame generation to the LSFG 2.3, which is the latest version, the mode to X2, meaning that you're going to generate twice the frame rate that your sim already has. So if you have 30 frames, you'll get 60. Now, the more frames you have in the sim, the better off the um, AI is going to work uh, with lossless scaling to generate additional frames. So make sure that you have at least 35 to 40 frames in your scene in order to be able to get the maximum benefit of lossless scaling. Resolution scale is at the maximum, turn performance on, clip the cursor is on, scale the cursor is also on, I will leave rendering on the default mode. I haven't really changed anything here. The one thing you'll notice is that I have G-Sync support turned off, and that is because I've turned off G-Sync on my monitor. This gives me much better FPS and less stuttering. Uh, when using lossless scaling. So I turned this off. I do have draw FPS there. I'm not sure if it's going to be displayed on the screen or not, but um, the, everything else is pretty much left at the default. For the scaling type, just turn, make this, turn this off and you're pretty much good to go. Lossless scaling is now turned off and we are getting about 39 FPS here at maximum settings. Control, Alt and S. And now we have enabled lossless scaling and getting about 76 FPS. I will add additional footage that I've made of the Tolis A320 at London Heathrow with Orbex True Earth to show you how smooth the experience is 
with lossless scaling. Note that the actual FPS at the time of recording with Orbex True Earth and the Tolis at London Heathrow was about 35 FPS. And with the lossless scaling, we were achieving 70 FPS. Let's take a look at the results. Let us now take the default Cessna 172 and fly over Orbex True Earth to take a look at the experience flying again at maximum settings with Orbex True Earth in a general aviation aircraft. Well, folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of this short video. I highly recommend that you give lossless scaling a try. It will definitely improve the performance in the sim and allow you to increase your settings, thus getting better visual fidelity in X-Plane 12. Well, if you have any questions, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in, and bye-bye for now. Thank you.